Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use two different types of symbols and why you actually may want to choose the movie clip when you're looking to apply like different types of effects, blurs, uh, embosses, bevels, things like that to text and to objects that you've placed inside of a symbol. As you'll see here, I've got a graphic here. I've got some text that says graphic. And if you look at it in my library, you'll see here text graphic is a graphic symbol. But when I click on movie clip and I left click on it here, you're going to see here that this, when I go to my library, is in fact a, here it is, movie clip, is a movie clip, obviously, symbol. And movie clips give you a lot more flexibility, and that is somewhat counterintuitive. So let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to get rid of both of these off of my um, off of my stage here. I'm going to go to my library. I'm going to drag and drop on the text movie clip. And this one here is obviously the movie clip, and I'm going to put it at the bottom of the stage here. I'm also going to put on the text graphic, and I'll put this one at the top of the stage. Now, I'm going to go back to properties. Now, what they're obviously they're they're similar right now. They've got the same font, the same color, but when you look at it, you'll see here that this is an example, or is an instance of a graphic symbol, and the movie clip is an instance of a movie clip symbol. Now, when you click on graphic, like I've done here, and you left click on it, you're going to see here that you don't get all that many options. Under color effects, you get things like brightness, tint, and advanced, which is just basically the different uh, RGB sliders and an alpha slider, and alpha as well. So you can reduce the alpha down or the transparency. You get a few options, but you don't get those Photoshop slash, you know, Adobe Illustrator style stuff where you can add effects and filters and things like that. So this is the limitation of a graphic symbol. Now, let me left click on the movie clip symbol. Again, this we're using text here, so that's why I'm pointing this out because it is not intuitive. If you left click on, on, if you were to write out text and just say movie clip, it doesn't make sense that a movie would allow you to use all of these other options, but let's take a look. So, in lieu of the graphic, which has a few options, as you can see, we went through, you'll see here on the movie clip symbol, that we get options including blending, so we can use blend modes, which is kind of cool. I'm not going to use those, but I just want you to know that they're there. You can also use filters. I'm going to left click on the plus sign here, and I'm going to apply a drop shadow, and presto, we've got some depth. This you cannot do using a standard graphic symbol, but change that text or that object to a movie clip, and you can apply a drop shadow. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to show you some of the other ones while I got you. You could make it blurry if you want, and if you want to jack the blur way up, okay. You've had a few too many uh, road pops, okay, fair enough. Get rid of that or add it in. I'm going to delete the blur. You can do all sorts of things. Bevels, bevels look great, although it's very similar to the drop shadow when the initial effect. But you can add a bevel in. You can add in multiple effects. So if I want to add in a gradient bevel, why not, right? Here it is. We've got our gradient here. We've got our angle, we've got our strength. Guys, the point is, when you're typing out text and you want a few options, use the movie clip symbol type as opposed to the graphic symbol type, despite it not being intuitive. I promise you, you'll, much, you'll prefer it much better, and you'll get much better options and a much better finished product. That's all I got for this tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.